All right, welcome back guys. I still haven't got over the shiny Bulbasaur stuff yet. If you guys haven't seen that episode, check out part four. That was the shiny Bulbasaur and that was a crazy one. So today we're gonna to continue our journey towards Cerulean Gym. So, all right. Maybe you can ask some, like talk to some people around the way because you know, gotta always talk to everybody. What's happening? Oh, oh, Bulbasaur found something. <laughs> It would be great if you can find me money, you know, because that's one thing I'm lacking right now. And they say that you can actually trade Pokemon here, right? Uh, but uh, you gotta find some of the NPCs, you know. Okay, well, gotta wear this properly first. Uh, no, I'm not gonna pay money for this. <laughs> I don't even have money to buy Pokeballs right now. Okay, that's a bit strange. This is very new, this is not part of the main series, so I'm just watching Slowpoke. Nice. Is he staring at his ass? <laughs> wow. Yo, I cannot wait until I can like get a bicycle or like a ride because Walking in this game right now, without running shoes, it's very slow, to be honest. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Let's continue. I think we're done with the city stuff right now. So, yeah. So, this is the route. Okay. Our journey begins again. Yeah. Coach trainers? Okay, hold on, let me see my party first. Kenny will go first. Okay. okay, something interesting. I wonder what level is he? 11. Wow, that's not bad actually. Ah, uh, but, you know, gotta start with a thunder wave. I really love the animations in this game, you know? My god. Apparently Leech Seed does more damage and heals a lot more than Vine Whip. I don't get it. Okay, at least it's dead. That took a while. Is it you? Wait, how come they don't have the exclamation mark like, you know, when eye contact and stuff? That's a bit weird. So many grass type, come on. Yep. That was fast. <laughs> oh, it's the shorts guy! You guys saw that comment, right? It's the guy that loves shorts. <laughs> Youngster. Apparently in the main series, there's a guy that his, his uh, comment is, I like shorts. I think this is the guy. Okay, let's gonna fry this bird. Level 6. Wow, these are very underleveled Pokemon. Ah, this one has an exclamation mark. <laughs> that was weird. Nidoran. I have yet to find a Nidoran. I mean, a male Nidoran and a female Nidoran. Okay. Alright, oh, this is the girl with the Jigglypuff one. In the main series, it's level 14. Right? It has Sing and Pound and stuff. That was very annoying. I hope it's a Jigglypuff. Oh no, it's not. Why they changed it all? I don't get it. Yours. Especially when you're going to be finding like shinies and stuff. Wait! It's the kid that likes shorts! I think this is the kid. <laughs> he just said, I like shorts! <laughs> like so many bushes and stuff. Oh. Nice. I find it very funny that uh, you're actually getting more EXP. Oh, central! Nice!
You're getting more EXP from catching than actually battling these Pokemon. Sentru, nice. Okay, first Sentru at least. We gotta find a shiny Sentru too. I mean. That's a lot of EXP, you know, just by catching. Nice, okay. And Shrew is in the Pokedex. I guess in the end you just gotta aim for the excellent because that EXP boost is insane. Okay, we're gonna approach the Cerulean Cave right now. So, a lot of Zubats, I assume. What a trainer. Level 13, okay. The good thing about these things is that at least their Pokemon are a little bit more competitive, you know. No, don't steal my money! Unless I really, really want money. Okay, who is this? Oh, are we going to catch an Onyx? That would be so awesome. Like what? Oh, there's a Meowth up there! Team Rocket meow. Yeah, because Team Rocket is going to be in here, so... Kind of cool that they added that in there. Okay, we're at Mount Moon. Here it is. Team Rocket. For Jiro... And Musashi. Nice. Oh, Geodude. Right, so uh, apparently people actually farm uh, shiny Geodudes here. So that's a thing. And I think I'll be joining that bandwagon soon enough. That golden Geodude, you know? Oh, nice. Butterfree. Okay. Oh, Paris. Nice. So many new Pokemons, I love it. Maybe we'll chain up like Geodudes later, but for now we're gonna catch them all. A bit slow, isn't it? Alright, Paris is in the Pokedex. Here we go. I guess at the end of the day, the game, right, you more or less don't need to train them. You can just catch all forms. If I'm not mistaken, all forms should be in a while. Another one in the Pokedex. Where are my Zubats, you know? It would be a pity if there's like no Zubats around here. Alright, let's keep going. Jesse! How can I be fast? You literally just walk around the corner, you know? Yay, Zubat! Why oh, am I so happy? I don't know. Uh, let's just... Alright, this is the guy in the lab one. The grimers and everything. Hey, let's see. I know there's a lot of items around here, that's why. But pick them all up, yeah? Zubat! Come back! Okay, at least we're gonna get our first Zubat though. Shit! Okay, now I can see why people don't want to catch Zubat. They're hard to catch. Can you imagine like trying to chain 20, uh, 30 Zubats? Okay, I wonder if I can find a wild onyx here. That would be really cool. Why would I need repel though? You know, if you want to find a shiny, you cannot put repel. The fairy! How nice! Oh, 
Pokedex, Pokedex. Nice. Fortunately, I won't be using you in battle. Let's go down here first. Team Rocket and Geodudes and Paris. Is this is it Ether? A rare candy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Rare candy. Okay. That's a Pokemon. Wow, look at that! Team Rocket Battle has its own animation. That is so cool. Isn't it sad like let's say for example your team you're in Team Rocket, right? And then the first Pokemon they gave you is a Ratata and that's all you have to work with. So I guess this guy is like the intern of Team Rocket perhaps. You know, using the most weakest link. We gotta finish this entire cave as soon as we can because I don't wanna drag too long. <laughs> wow, Zubats are everywhere right now. Okay. But we gotta get through this entire cave because well I wanna get to the gym, you know? Hello James. Oh, also known as Kojiro. <laughs> they have the same name. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of Pokemon suddenly appearing. Nugget! Yes, my Pidgey and my Kakuna are gonna evolve at the same time. I think so. It should be 18 and 10, right? Whew. Wow, I love the evolution. So sparkly. Wow, that is so cool. It does have that Pokemon Go feel though. Yeah, but they make it more colorful and stuff. Awesome. I used to love Beedrill so much uh, when I first started playing uh, Pokemon Red, but I realized it was so weak going into the later stage of the game that I completely stopped training it. Oh, it's a pity, you know. I think we're like a little bit past halfway through the cave. For your sake, I'm going to edit this video to shorten it as much as I can. Hiker! Yes! It's the most iconic guy, Hiker, that has a Geodude and an Onyx. But I think he might use two Geodudes, who knows, right? Okay, yep. What? This guy's gonna give out free Pokeballs? Seriously? Maybe if you chain enough Geodudes, right, then Onyx will appear, you know? Perhaps. I don't know what is the rare Pokemon in this uh, Mount Moon, yeah? Approaching. Oh, okay. Team Rocket. Okay, Geodude's there, Geodude's there, nice. Chain them all. Alright, let's keep the combo going. <laughs> Team Rocket. Let's test out a new move set Thunderbolt. Wow. Now that is an animation. <laughs> I wonder how Thunder looks like. Now I'm curious. Are we gonna fight them now? Yes, I think we can fight them now. Whoa! A Clefable? But oh, I already chained all my Geodudes! Screw it. Gotta always catch the rarest one. Okay. I think this might be hard to catch, but we will try. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> well, that goes my combo. But then again, I wasn't really going for like... Um, I wasn't really trying to get a shiny Geodude today. You know, if I could, I would. But, you know. Oh, they're not doing anything. Okay, fine. We'll go on our way then. Whoa! Oh my god. 
Oh my god, yes! Finally, an onyx! So we're gonna ride this onyx around, because why not? Okay, we're gonna get onyx out, just because. Okay, do I ride him now? Awesome! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Wow, when you go through narrow places, it will shrink. Uh, I mean, like, it will not go. And nice. Okay, this is a little bit distracting, not gonna lie, but I love it. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> what was that? Okay, finally. Alright, so... Um, between Almanite and Kabuto, personally, I like Kabuto more. Because it looks cooler, you know, Kabutops and stuff. But I think I'm gonna go for Kabuto, yeah. Because every single time, I always go for Kabuto. I just like it more. Even though Helix Fossil is, you know... You, know, you gotta pray to uh, Lord Helix, you know. Lord Helix. Okay. Uh, Almanite is that one? Kabuto is this one. Yep. There we go. Alright, thank you my friend. Yes, finally. I'm gonna battle him. Jesse, James, and Meow. About time, about time. Ekans and Coffee. Ah, look at that shine! <laughs> Level 12, not bad. Okay, I'm going to destroy Coughing. And Bulbasaur, you can just... I don't know... Do something interesting. Just make, make this guy go to sleep or something. Nice. Bulbasaur is so close to evolve already. <coughs> Alright, awesome. Ah, uh, the classic. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, hold on. I gotta apparently praise. Oh my god. Alright, well done, Pikachu. I think we're nearing the end already. We should be. Oh, we made it! Yes, we did it guys! So we have finally finished Mount Moon. <laughs> okay, this is getting annoying. <laughs> but yeah, we finally completed Mount Moon and I think that will be it for today. Okay, anyway, tune in next time for the next episode where we take on the Cerulean Gym and take our second batch of our journey. Okay guys, 